Welcome everyone to another Saturday night edition of Squad Ops One Life event. Tonight we got Operation Red Rabbit on Scorpo. Sorry for the late start. We've had a little bit of an issue, tiny, teeny little bit of an issue with the mod tonight. Uh, and yeah, like I said, we're going to be doing this on Scorpo. It's going to be US versus Militia. I am Wilbur and tonight I finally have the pleasure of introducing Aethel as co-commentator. Aethel, say hello. Hello guys, um, I come in often in these operations. I'm also an instructor for a SOT uh, team and I really wanted to try uh, commentating, see if I can uh, bring a bit of my own personal experience uh, of these events. Absolutely, I am like ecstatic to finally have you on here. I mean, you're one of my favorite commanders. I love the way that you, you push through the games. Um, it's just like, it's like watching a surgeon do something on, you know, it, it's, it's very surgical. I love it. I'm loving it. But, uh, moving across, we got, uh, the op map coming up What the, the U S forces tonight have got to do a patrol that are, um, in several locations, ensuring the key areas are free of revolutionary activity. And they're going to be doing this by securing or searching for weapon caches, explosive devices, armed revolutionists, or manning checkpoints. And the militia forces are going to be trying to drive the U.S. forces out of these areas. So what you see is uh, several different colors. We got, what, red, was it red, green, yellow, blue, purple, white. We got, the, we'll, we'll call it, we'll call it the rainbow op. <laughs> It's an, a rainbow yeah, patrol. Or, or the bull of yarn. It's, it's yeah. quite trending. It's everywhere. It's all over the place. And commands for tonight. Uh, over on the U.S. will be starting out on the... You'll see the U.S. in blue. Uh, the red will be the militia forces. So Oddball will be in command tonight. And then his two IC will be lawn darts. And then uh, leading out the rest of the SLs is nuclear potato, frost, and dash bead. You, uh, you have the militia pulled up or did I forget to tell you to do that? No, no, I have militia pulled up. Uh, it's quite, quite interesting. I do believe they uh, have a lot of options to you know, to counter a US push. Uh, Intel-wise, they do have a drone, which gives them a, a short window where they can deploy a, an aerial device that gives them just pinpoint accurate view on what the uh, US will do in a given area. Um, however, it's a one-shot thing. It's limited. We'll see how they use it. It can be crucial, especially if they want to take out those... Uh, Armored assets. Yep. On, on top of that, um, the way they would be able to do this, I think they have a lot of uh, things to do before live and during live. Oh, yes. <laughs> There's a lot <laughs> on both sides. Um, but uh, I think the gist of it is going to be them figuring out uh, what the US have to achieve and reacting quickly enough in order to counter that. And that is not an easy thing because they only have to be spread out throughout the map to at least cut out the US's movements and then concentrate really quickly on the, the forces they spot. Yeah, absolutely. And then uh, over for the militia, Jack will be in command and then his two IC will be Silas. Leading out the rest of the SLs will be Sledvi, Dorf, and Carr. Carr's a new one. He's a new regular. Uh, how do you feel about new regulars coming in and uh, leading for the first time? Does it make you nervous as a commander? Do you feel okay about it? You can lead them. Oh, I like it. It's it's um, it's it's honestly just heads or tails, right? Either it goes perfectly, and you know they could have had a, a lot of experience as um, FTLs before, beforehand. That is usually a, a real help. Um, and say 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 it goes wrong, and there's Honestly, I've never seen any SL go wrong even for the first time. So when I mean wrong, it's perhaps movement a bit off, spacing, communication. It's always fixable. And you often get excellent SLs who stutter or have a bit of a few issues on the first time and then become really proficient on the road. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. Good Good view. This is why I'm glad you're here. And uh, <laughs> loadout, loadouts for tonight starting out with the u.s what's going on block how you doing uh but the squad they'll be getting one sl two ftls two ars one latin one medic and then across the entire platoon they'll get four engineers two ammo bearers two hats and crewmen as needed now that's the same for the green yellow red blue orange and purple i think that's the colors um, but looking at the screen, we got green. They're not going to get any fob or logistics. If they choose yellow, they'll get one fob, one into, uh, into 
indestructible barrier uh bunker i can't remember what it is idf bunker we'll just call it that and then sandbags and wire and then if they choose red they'll get one bob with various defensive structures the command support's going to change because we're on a vanilla later we're, we're not on the uh, actual mod layer uh, yeah, and, I do believe yeah. the only thing they'll be able to get will be that uh, crucial drone. And again, that's only yep. for... Uh, yeah, they'll yeah, get the drone. Mission. They won't be getting any of the supply drops, none of the smoke barrages, none of that, that fun stuff that we have. And then for blue, orange, and purple, uh, the only thing that's changing are vehicles, fobs, and command support. Well, actually, they're not going to get any command support because there's no drones in there. But uh, if they choose orange or purple, they get two Matt V open top 50 cals. And if they choose purple, they'll also get an extra fob with uh, one IDF structure and sandbags and wire. And then over on the militia side, as Aethel was leading to earlier, they're going to get one SL, two FTLs, one medic, six ammo bearers, four ARs, one medium machine gunner, two scouts, and two lats. Vehicles, they'll get one Lodgy with 3,000 build, and then they'll get another Lodgy with 400 ammo and 1,000 build. Fob and logistics, they'll be getting one fob, one IDF structure, various defensive uh, support structure. And then, they, of course, those roadblocks that he was talking about, they'll get the fob and then the two wood trench walls. And then command support, they'll still get the, they'll get that drone. They're they're locking out. They're, they're doing better than the uh, U.S. is going to do. Yeah, they're going to need that. Um, especially, since, as I said, they're going to be needing to spread a bit thin in the beginning, see what they can catch. And Scorpo is a hellish map to navigate if you want to concentrate oh, on a specific point. It's disgusting trying to it's navigate these sheer hills. cliffs. It yeah. is. <laughs> oh my god, it's it's horrible sometimes. It's the worst part of the walking simulator. The different routes. Yo yeah, guys, welcome. All right, to we're gonna go the, into the. the I'm, I'm sorry to cut you off. Either. We're gonna go into the uh, command brief for the U.S. side real quick. Do one of multiple objectives. We have chosen the blue route that is to go and look after some villages to our east. As you can see, we've marked multiple skull and crossbone marks. We need to go and clear them and put down a radio so they can listen to some really good American music. <clears throat> um. We've got to clear five blue routes and one white route. Initially, we are going to be moving to clear out the village at Golf 17, Echo 16, and Charlie 16, 6. And then we will reassess and proceed north. Okay. Long Art Squad is going to Golf 17. Dash B Squad is going to Echo 16. Frost Squad is going to Charlie 16. And finally, Nuclear is going to be in the middle on my five mark. Okay. Tip of the spear, gentlemen. Something like that. Anyway, we are facing insurgents. We're expecting them to have set up ambushes and roadblocks in the area just to the north of us so on live we are in the shit okay so don't faff about keep your security up keep your spacing up apart from that good luck and let's have a fun game Yeehaw. hey everybody wish frost a happy birthday Happy birthday, Happy birthday, 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 birthday,
a little bit better of what he's talking about. He's taking the blue route, so you see that he's got to check off all of those blue markers plus one of the white markers. Um, going to be a little difficult, but he's going to be spreading some of his platoons straight up north, some straight down the road, and then straight out to the east to basically cover the flanks of his platoon's movement. And along with the uh, or the platoon brief, we also got a happy birthday, Frost. Happy birthday, Frost, from the Squad Ops community, from me to you. And from me. It's going to yes. be interesting. I do believe he's a partied pretty hard and he's a sitting oh yeah it's gonna be it's gonna be good but I, I have faith in frost frost is usually cool calm and collected and uh ends up getting the job done most of the time when he's selling he's, he's oh, definitely, definitely one of the good ones forward draws a line pushes forward make sure he's ftl so manages their fire teams correctly i'm still waiting on a confirmation for yeah pretty uh the pretty team. regimented on the way that he leads his fire also teams from what we can see as the eye in the sky Maybe sometimes well never we get what we what we, everyone hears in the squad chat we just hear command and local but just the movements that he does across the field i mean it's always good to watch so 10 minutes 10 minutes all right take three of streaming <laughs> this event not seeing uh, oh i see Oh yeah, now I'm starting to see him on top with Sled V and Quantum and Sasa. God, that is like, I mean, I'm gonna pull back a little bit. That little, look at that rock, right, we break, 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 and then we sorry. come Contact. back. Zero, zero six eight relative to me. They Gold can 15, see five, all of this area right here. They like can this see is, all of it. Yeah, like that's hey, US main right here. there. Like you can see every like, negative. It's too far away for my guys to get... I mean, for an op, around. yeah, that that's going to happen. I don't think in a vanilla, okay. it's going to... They're going to be able to get there that quick, but minutes, that is an OP position. And then we'll proceed on to the next objective. We'll see how it goes. Um, I like... Okay. I definitely like Jack's idea of um, sending a blocking element east. However, it's not moving. And it's not in the position to draw fire or suppress those elements on the ridge line without getting wiped out itself. I'm gonna play um, a if the uh, uh, if militia keeps drawing those uh, U.S. elements north, it's gonna be a slaughter once they collapse in. Yeah, uh, yeah, like wrap around their side. I mean, they do have yeah. one platoon that's going down the towards the southeast of the main platoon. They're gonna be to your north lawn crossing. I don't know if they've been spotted out by those militia forces up on the hill. Yeah, that's fine. Their one saving grace is that uh, okay, element southeast. That Jack was entirely correct in. Uh, We're gonna see if the enemy counter Sorry, Oddball wasn't very correct in putting there. Um, well, it's, honestly, it's really interesting. Because if that squad manages to make enough noise, yeah, it might be just one of those three squads on the north side need to rush through. Golf 1584. Golf 1584. Uh, Right. We're, I mean, we're looking at the map now, like a brief overview okay, of understood. positions of everybody. This is what we're talking about right here. Squad four up on this hill. And they can see this entire like 900 by 1200 meter position of the U.S. forces being able to move. I mean, it's just it's like having a second drone. Yep. Two, three, I just want a mag from your ARs. Let's give them a fire. Looks shot. like they've placed down three radios Firing now. as a position. Yes, I believe it's two blues and one white there. They still have three blues to go, which yeah. are three northern blues, uh, which are way out of reach for now, especially with those positions in front of them. Getting some outgoing fire from the US up towards that hill, trying to drive them back from their little observation post. Looks like it's working. Sasa pulls back with Quantum. So yeah, fire is going off. They know Jeremy, they're on the ridge line. Fire is complete, I want you to bound That's some decent suppression. Three northward, okay? If they can Go keep that up, Frost has a side. decent chance of, you know, following that, Copy, we're moving. that coastline. And all things considered, One, that uh, Dwarf Squad, all the way north from Militia, yourself. is a bit isolated. Yeah, I'm We're looking at Lawn Dart Squad for the U.S. moving up the hill. Golf 
thing. And it looks like they might be getting into some contact with some. Well, no, maybe they're not getting into contact with militia forces. Because militia, yeah, they got that whole line going across, keeping them basically from flanking up so the mountain and then down. I what the they're cutting off their right view. That's basically what they're doing. Remaining villages. Exactly. So we definitely want to be. Uh... I mean, this is exactly what well, you want to use um, Londor's par particular leadership for. He's very cool-headed, um, so you can always expect him to pull back if he gets in a bad situation like this, which is definitely going to happen right now. He's way outnumbered, but as a probing force, as a screening force, as a diversion, it's perfect. That's exactly what the uh, US needs. To Fox 15, 7, yeah, I've Fox yeah, like talking about lawn darts being cool headed. I've never heard him like, get excited. <laughs> he's, he's, I mean, it's just one line, and that's all you get you from can him. Hear, you can hear him smile, you can hear him be happy about stuff, but he was always very cool in his demeanor. Off to the northeast. To be honest, I, yeah, I've never even heard the guy laugh. <laughs> I've heard, heard about, about it a few times. I think I may have heard a, but that's about it from him. <laughs> well, however, he's gonna get himself killed right there. Yeah, I'm looking at that too. He's all by himself, running towards like what a five militia forces. Two, I'm getting engaged. Uh, from my east on the hill. I think he sees him. Oh, no? he's got his binocs out and he's looking up on top, not below. What is going on there? Oh, there we go. Yep. Well. Yep, now he goes. That see if his squad I mean, reacts. Mission from higher. There's not enough radios in that. So village. I had actually radio had this discussion with him about um, pathfinding squad well, leaders, down, which makes sense when you're trying to plan an assault. In this particular instance, uh, there's zero contact. visibility. He should have been moving with his squad in front of him, or at least amongst his squad. 13, yeah, not by himself. Uh, six. Four, now, hopefully, engaged, Silver and Meat, Dallas Stars, they don't, and Notorious, they don't pull back. back. They hold position. their front. And they let, the, they have trust in their uh, squad mates behind them to come in and clear out Does their six. Two, two, be aware the they're pushing uh, east off that hill. Yeah, I know. I can't direct it because I'm currently setting down radios. I'll care for it to my guys. See what the main force is doing. We just killed. So, we, we, hey, we just had an IED drone, I think, right on top of us. We killed. They've taken oh, out the drone. drone. Yes, and Frost it is no longer plodding along the coastline, which New honestly here. was the best approach. To to the hill there is, however, forward elements. There we go. Yeah, that's Frost. There we go. Let's try this again. Take four. So yeah, I see, uh, I don't even know who this is anymore. Uh, Lawn, the remnants of Londart's squad out here pulling back away from those militia forces up on top. Looks like Frost has pushed through. Oh no, this is Nuclear Potato's squad that's pushed up. I see Frost is in the same general area. Yep. Actually, kudos to Arbon. He's using his momentum here. He just pushed up an entire squad along the ridge line. Let's see if he can just burst through. He has a fair chance of dealing with those elements before the rest of the platoon collapses on him. No, Frost, don't cross the street. No, Frost, don't cross the street. Kuba's looking straight at him. Oh, God. Oh no, Kuba's moving the other way. He lucks out crossing the street. Kuba just turned in the last minute. And he narrowly avoids death. <laughs> oh. oh, well. Delano. What's up with SL just leading from the yeah. front? 100 meters in front of the squads today. Second time tonight. Bartok gets one. Grenades coming out from Sasa. Gets Gorilla and Shmi. I've got to hand it to Oddball. He did not hesitate to pour everything he had in that breach, which honestly is the best option for him. 
Hyper terrain is definitely not in his advantage. Oh, yeah. Like, you always win with the high ground. Not hard to work your way down, it's hard to work your way up. Got a lot of nade spam going out. Doesn't happen mm -hmm. in the uh the mod, but on vanilla later you can just put a ammo bag down and just basically resupply infinite grenades, damn near. U.S. is throwing manpower at those uh, cliffs and forests. Dash V squad is going to circle around. In narrow, there's absolutely no militia, so they have a fair chance of infiltrating the forest if they can pick up the pace. Yeah, I see Kerr moving his squad down also, down the mountain towards the road and open field. Yes, I think... I think yeah, time is time is going to be a factor here, and they're not going to reach those uh, compounds in time before the rest of the platoon descends from the hills. Yeah, I think these two squads are about to meet head to head. Maybe Kerr might catch them off guard. They're thinking that they're going to dash B. Thinks he's going to do a quick little. I guess that is a wide, wide maneuver. Oh, I down goes Kurt. Up, uh... Another squad leader leading from the front. <laughs> it's it's a tough habit to drop. I definitely had the same issues uh, the first few times I sailed, and even further down the road. You got, you, got it, you can lead from the front from the rear. Exactly. Shot your FTL. The FTL is the tip, but you're the spear behind it. Yeah, let the FTL be the spear. Let them be the pointy end. You be the stick. Exactly. <laughs> the stick decides where the spear go or where the pointy end goes. But again, it's it's very hard to do because the the instinct is really to pull you guys you guys forwards. Yeah. And you shouldn't do that. You should be pushing. Checking and essentially, if you're in the back, you can check spacing, you can check 360 security, you can check how it's deployed. It's just so much better once you develop that habit of uh, being a bit more cautious and, uh, you know, laid back. Yeah, sorry about not having a live feed here and there. I've I had some crashes going on. I'm not saying anything, but I, I hope it works. Um, not running full screen, I always run Windows borderless. Playing at 1080p, it's just this. It's just Scorpo. I have so many issues with Scorpo. I always do. It's just intensive. I'll get like, well, I'm on the four three try. We'll see how this holds out. Might be getting to take five. Is that be still going full send on that? Uh... Yeah, they're still going up. They're like, <laughs> I, I mean, they're both running in the same, like you would think that they were both the same squad the way that they're running together. It's kind of funny. <laughs> like yeah, they're running right behind each dead. other. <laughs> T-Man is mean, just like, oh, nope, he sees him now, but he was like literally like 50 meters right behind him running in the same direction. <laughs> yeah, I see that now. I mean, this does have the benefit of negating that flank that uh, Kerr was about to pull. Thing is, I can't help but think that that squad have been way more useful uh, flanking the point from the north side, going up the hill, finding the chink in the maneuver. Yeah, I think for the U.S., they're at a disadvantage that's not being the mod layer and having those smoke artillery assets. I know they only get two barrages, but they could have used at least one of those barrages to cover that hill. Yeah, exactly. While those two push, fields. Yeah, while they push through that all that open field, they could have used some of those barrages.
kind of at a standstill right now as they try to figure out how they're going to move. Yep. Yeah, I think is time is against the U.S. here. The longer they wait, the more militia consolidates, regroups. It's it's getting more and more. It's getting harder with the second, basically. Yeah, the the U.S. is not not intentionally, but inadvertently giving them time to set up different defenses. Yes. Silas is in an excellent position where he is right now. And as Oddball tells, don't get shot. Don't lead in front. near the SL. <laughs> lead from, like, let your guys go in front of you. I guess Oddball's tired of losing SLs now. <laughs> I mean, I've had FTLs replaced SLs that carried the day. So it, it can definitely work. Depends on the FTL. Um, oh, yeah. We definitely have some people who step up to FTL and do a bang-out job. Yep. Shout-out to Silver if you're watching the stream. Great job, uh, session one today. Taking over for Dixford, I believe. Yeah. Silver's one of the good FTLs. Uh, Oddball, who's in command. Hey, Normally, he's one, not one a commander, down, but I mean, he's stepped up a couple of times and yeah, I've heard nothing but good things from sure you know Oddball being in command. People like it. Yep. Well, he has that very uh, handled approach, and when it comes yeah, to like being on the offensive like this, I mean, you saw you really bold and, and aggressive. I'll go to the west. Which was a good call, it's just unfortunate that the okay, terrain is so terrain much against the US. Oh, yeah, the terrain is definitely, the terrain is against the US, and then plus now they don't have the assets that they normally would get to kind of even balance the, uh, the operation the way it's designed. Understood. I'm falling in with the remainder of three. Oh no. Never want to see a team kill as I crash. Go over. Hopefully this works. This is ridiculous. All ball is now leading a decimated squad into the trees and he just wiped out a, a wing of Silas' squad. Oh yeah, it's it's yeah. No, it's pretty I mean it's pretty brutal. desolate. They oh, just have uh, to Yeah. I think Mill's gonna take this one. It's not very many uh US forces left. Looking at about eight, nine. Some are hurt. And Dashby is just I don't know. <laughs> this is squad two. I'm I mean, we're sitting at 14 first, kills for the US and 22 for a regular right now. Understood. Do go for it. Yeah, Dashby is taking a squad on the Merry Tour of Scorpio. I, I don't ahead. know where they're going. Yeah, yeah. So I can get the Eastern one and then probably. All the way east Leah. and. And that should be good. Understood. Go for it. Is there? Oh, a I didn't blue? see. Oh, wow. Yeah, I didn't even see. Oh, I didn't even see that. Yeah, Dashby's all Don't the way in the back. It's a lot more than what if I was looking at. True, they could skew all the blue patrol points. Oh yeah. Let's see. There is a single one that is behind the, the militia bulwark. That is. Let me get a grid on that. That is India 1367, I believe. Somewhere around that. And that's exactly where he's heading. That's clever. That means they secure one extra. And that puts them at three blues, one white, and they need two more, I believe. Okay, yeah, that, I mean, that's that's pretty good. Uh, Oddball has told people to stop pushing forward as Dash B yeah. goes and uh, clears out, I guess, these, these next two objectives. Well, this one is reliably free of contacts. However, he wants to push west. He's going to be, he's going to be countering uh, some resistance. Militia well, doesn't even know the dash he's back there, do, do, does he? Who's he? I don't know. There's a militia squad for, moving eastward for no apparent reason. Mark, so the only the reason I can see is that they know a squad's through. Um, that is squad for, three pushing east, on pushing on. eastward. North. Okay. Understood. Don't forget your smoke grenades. Radio boom down. 
Dash so they just split called, up. Yeah, Dash, we just called out putting the radio down. Start to pull back out. Excellent. So that, that's a good call. Um, okay. I, I don't. Daniel, so it's playing the objective. Radio. Maybe it would have been so better to pack the remnants of his forces in the fist and try to smash through. However, if you can. Use okay, Dashby Squad as a constant harassment uh, in Let's the back lines of Militia, that could also that. work. Yeah, so get the radio down, that feels Because Oddball has rallied his troops here. Oh, and someone just ND'd back here with Dashby Squad. Okay, so, I just went so they definitely okay. may have heard that. When guys Christ, it, why does it always happen when you need to be sneaky? Oh no. Hopefully no one heard that. I, I can go on the coast if you want. Yeah, two, push down the coast, see what you can do. You might get them by surprise. So I'm impressive oddball. He has rallied the remnants of squad one. He managed to smash through a few of the militia pickets. And now he's going straight for the objective. However, it is a lot of open ground to cross. Yeah, that is. I mean, he's he's got to get there. He doesn't have any more SLs to put a... Uh... Bob, radio down. Yeah, I think, yeah, he's the only one that can do it. Exactly. And is that house, that uh, that buddy team, that US buddy team in one of the objectives? I believe it is. Uh, I think it is. Let me pull the... It uh, is, yes. Okay. I see it. So that, that puts them two four blues one white they only need one extra blue if they manage to put a radio on that one or if or dashby could put one no okay. he's already dashby passed everything yeah, he yeah he's on the last no one comes in the other squads i am the only one that can get a radio down at this point it's hell so if he wants to hit it. that he needs to go through um, several probably need to militia squads yeah, Eyeball uh, just said he's the only one that can put it down, so he's going to try to rush in and put the radio down. Yeah, Dashby wants none of that. Dashby has exfilt. <laughs> he's staying close to the coast. He's going to try to slip through him. It is possible. There's enough trees for him to put it off. We'll see how closely Vinesha is watching that coastline. Yeah. Well, no, I mean, like, Eyeball is going to actually rush to the building and put it down. And it doesn't Ooh. look, yeah, it doesn't look like there's a many militia forces within eyesight of them. They've pulled back to one of the other, I think that's what that other militia force did that moved east up the coast towards Dashby. They were just trying to cover the rest of the positions to make sure no one can get into those houses and put the radio down. So Jack has moved forces towards the last remaining houses where they got to put the radios down. I mean, I'm quite impressed with uh, US. They're they're assaulting a nigh impregnable position, and they're actually they're doing a casual. good job of it. Yeah. 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 Exactly. It's it's hard, but they're definitely doing it in an impressive fashion. It's not a shameful display at all. No, I've got okay, shoot, 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 shoot the top of the hill toward zero seventeen. Even off. It's also possible that uh, Jack fanned his yeah. troops yeah. out a bit too early you know, to hunt down uh, remnants of the, US squads. If you look at the map right now, militia is all over the place. Yeah. Yeah, they are spread out pretty much. Yeah. And oh, and Dashby slipped through. Dashby is slipping through. That is impressive. I'm going to go back the way I can because I'm getting far from the princess. That's fine, Dashby, do what you can. Is he going to take that fight or is he going to run away? He yeah, might take the fight. Yeah, he said he's ah, going to go back because yeah. he's getting pinned down. Him and Young Savage are about to run to each I'm other. Apart from the peninsula and the south, I'm going to try and exfil east. Oh, Dashby, did you see it? Yes! Oh, no, and they, they trade. trade. And he's got one left instant. They wrapped around instant. I don't know if instant's going to actually get away from this one. Radio's down on that fourth objective. One left. Thank you. Oddball has bits and pieces which form a full squad. 
I mean, he, he could pack his forces into a fist, punch through and get that last radio in. Oh, the, the last radio is down. Or do they need more? I thought they already had four. They need five and one blue and one white, right? They need five and one white. Do they have five and one white right now? I believe so. They do. They yeah. entirely do. They've yep. actually they've completed the objective. I'm absolutely impressed. And now Oddball's starting to pull his people back. And where is the location they pulled back to to hold once they switch to a defensive stance? Uh, let me figure that out. Is it the last one? Let's see. We're on blue. Uh, da, 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 they may da, return da, da. to U.S. Main. They, they, oh, that's they all they have to, have to do. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> Holy uh, shit. Good job, Oddball. Ball. Honestly, this is... <laughs> oddball for the win. Nigh impossible odds, and he actually pulls it off. I am loses I am F loses impressed. squad leaders left and right, pulls everyone together, and gets the mission done. Way to go, eyeball! Um, Bill have no vehicles. All they, I mean, it's the running simulator now. I think Jack knows that. Uh, he's got to know by now that eyeballs just pulling back and going for home for the victory. And right before, yeah. during the break, we're going to pull Oddball in and uh, get some words from him for Where a couple of him? minutes. You got to oh. hear about this one. Holy sh... Wow. Good job. <laughs> Anyone on this net that should be on this net? So I'm listening to militia comms. They have no idea that US have completed the objective. That is such a long run for US to get back to Maine. Uh, it's a victorious run. It's the victory lap. Yeah. It's the mission done with what one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight people. Nine. Well, you know what? We can't dash be creating a little bit of that diversion. Definitely helped. I mean, we're gonna we're not gonna say it was just one person. Thing oh, going definitely. On. It was definitely I mean, a team effort. Definitely. I think there was a lot of initiative on the Estelle's themselves. Um, but kudos to Nodball for just basically organizing that freedom of uh, movement that Dash B, and I believe who was leading the squad moving down the hill with Dash B? Oh, Landorts, which was yeah. replaced by Silver, I believe. Yeah, once again, Silver steps up. <laughs> exactly. I mean, it's a Pyrrhic victory, definitely, but it's still an impressive one. I wouldn't be surprised if um, admin calls it quits before they run to the to main because they definitely have such lead that it's 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 not questionable anymore. Yeah, it de yeah. There's no way militia is catching up with them unless they just stop for some odd reason. <laughs> I mean, there's 52 minutes left in the game. Holding the village. I'm trying to. I haven't got command comms. You need to tell them in admin camp, admin chat. Um, they're all running south. I'll get my squad to pull back north. Yeah, SLs just say that. Everybody, just 
Yeah, well, this is somewhat anti-Semitic. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. I mean, you can definitely congratulate the militia for the stalwart defense. Yeah. I mean, it's... I, well, what is Eyeball doing? Why is he running the other way? Go to the back. Go. No. Eyeball. Eyeball. <laughs> What's going on? Why is he going back? Militia is still looking like crazy. <laughs> yeah, I don't think Van Ammon has stated anything that uh, they can return to Maine or nothing. Where, Eyeball, Eyeball's got his whole platoon running, or the remnants of his platoon running back towards Militia. We'll see. There we go. Okay, so they're not pulling them back to Maine. <laughs> the surprise in militia. That's what you like to hear. Dorf's expletive is uh, interesting for this particular situation. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure he would have liked to have known that a little earlier. Yes, uh, you can definitely cannot fault them for wanting that. Okay, so. Battle plan is really straightforward. So you're just going to have to hold this position? Or, uh, I mean, they've completed what they need to do. They've exfilled. Right? The fire, whatever. Heroes. I can't pronounce it. But Harry you something? Harry yeah. Hey, yeah, that. Harrison. Harrison. <laughs> so basically the plan by Jack is send that squad two on the east side, have a squad follow the coastline, have a squad just come straight down at them and grab it in the pincer movement. And honestly, there's not much reasons for them to fail if they put it off correctly. They have overwhelming numbers. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, there's only 16 kills on the army side and 29 for militia. Definitely let's, outnumbered. Let's not call it quits for US. They have surprises once this round. They may surprise us again. Absolutely. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> I mean, about a month ago, we saw a whole team basically get decimated, lose both of their armor assets, and still pull out the win. Exactly. So, yeah. It's, all, it's always a... Uh, I don't know. It's... It, it's it's dealer's choice sometimes in uh, these one life ops. Yeah, because there's the meticulous plan that you lay out, the command net, and then there's the actual situation. And it definitely hinges on how good the shooter is, what that one person will decide is his next move. It, there's, there's so many unknowns that you can easily forget about when you SL and you command. You just, you know, sanitize it boil it down to a series of maneuvers and counter maneuvers. There's just, that's the beauty of the one life event. There's so much more. It's, it's a, it's a whole based out of 40 people working together and it's fun, but it can also be infuriating because it's so many unknowns, so many unpredictable factors. Yep. Yeah. So right now on paper, militia has an absolute advantage. They're going to storm this compound in practice. A few good shooters could turn the tide here. The only givens, give Bartok a hat or a lat, give Kuba and Silent an AR. You're good. <laughs> the only givens. Damn, that's right. Okay. Oh, we got the militia oh forces getting DC. a little bit closer. Uh, closer. Closer. As nuclear twister says, think, I don't think we can get anybody in, unfortunately. One of one of his people just DC'd. I don't know if it yeah, was a live player or not. He me on Discord. He can't spawn. Got it. Got 
five U.S. forces left. That's a lot of militia. Militia is saying that there's no one in the uh, Sundi. Oh, that's because they're all hiding in buildings. Exactly, that's the right call. As long as they have no eyes on them, remember they don't. For the viewers, they don't know how many they've killed. They don't have access to the the kill count. So for all they know, they could be facing half a platoon, the same strength that they have right now. Or more. I, they, I mean, yeah, they have absolutely no clue how, unless they're sitting there confirming kills and, and ticking them down on a piece of paper. Exactly. For all they know, that we could have exiled. They don't know if they managed to get all of Dashby's squad on the far east side. That's why you see they're they're not going at it in a full approach. They're actually screening the east and the west side, figuring out if it's the yeah, village proper like or if there's a full platoon waiting on the edges. Being, you don't understand them, but somehow the main characters just speak that language. Yeah, and uh, Bartok's over there with Fulcrum and Scottish Jab having a conversation about Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's, there's not much they can do while they wait. Uh, so yeah. They're going to have to... I mean, militia's on top of them. Another aspect is we'll see if they can show enough restraint to draw them in. If they can engage them once they're walking around the streets instead of once they're in the forest where they have a better chance of surviving the first few shots, they could slaughter a squad there. Yeah. Just find a hole oh, and well. stay in it. Dwarf squad is making contact. Dwarf is noticeably irritated by the amount of miles he has to run to get to these guys. Yeah. Old W and shift. Let's, let's follow. I'm pretty sure he's going to vent his rage on the those who dare oppose him. Yeah. Of course going to be upset. Ooh, Shog is back to the house yeah, right Arbor is actually set up running. in. That's a great crossfire he has. Let's see oh. if he can capitalize. What a danger. Oh, the yes. stairs on the side. Okay, I see where Danger Close got up there. And I see Jack is inside of a building also. U.S. is completely just surrounded right now. Yep, but that's the beauty of crossfires. They can support one another. They can't breach that uh, red warehouse without breaching the houses. And those houses are going to be slow to houses. There you go, see? Silas can't clear that corrugated roof building without exposing himself to the wooden one next to it. Oh, they're pushing eyeballs building. Yep, come on, ball. Follow your dreams. I've just been grenaded, haven't I? Oh, uh, grenaded! Oh, shit. Oh, they're about to throw a grenade on the uh, Abel's floor. <laughs> Stop throwing fucking grenades! You little shit, bitch. Oh, oh, they got him with a grenade. Oh, I see Soldier Wolfie on top of the roof. Okay. Yeah, that's that's some very good coordination. He was uh, coordinating with the guy at the bottom of the stairs. Jack, actually, commands. Telling yep. him to wait for the grenade to drop, and then he, Jack, crushed in. I think it's down to Scottish chat. More eastern wall, running towards you. Two oh, people. no, him and Bartok. Three only people. left. Covering the doorways. Smoke on the big door. Two smokes. Both doors have been smoked off. <laughs> Scottish has got to be crapping bricks right now. Bartok is alive Grenade. too, right? Yeah, Bartok is behind the red yep, green dead. container. Bartok and Scottish chap. There is a lot of militia coming through those doors. Bartok, you got any on you? 
crossfire with Scottish. Come on, Scottish. Yes. Oh no! <laughs> Not even quick enough to pull up last man. A starry end. Yep. That was a that was a pretty impressive op with a GG getting called there. Ended up with 30, 23 kills for the U.S. and thirty five for a regular militia. Um, and we're gonna pull. Let's let's pull eyeball down. Let's get let's get some words from him. Yep. Can't wait. Oddball, what is going on, buddy? We need to get some words from you on <laughs> that. Let's hear what you have to say. Well, it was a it was a fun run. I don't think the enemy actually knew that we were doing the uh, the blue route. They were um, they, they were aware. I can attest to that. <laughs> but um, just just to clarify, we opted to uh, make a final stand there in that village. We were running away to the to the main base, but um, we thought let's let's go down with a fight. So you know, we, we tried our best. Uh, Bar talk with the <laughs> miraculous uh, trade at the end there. Yeah, a lot of good, a lot of good kills, a lot of good, uh, a lot of good comms from what I caught from you. I did uh, disconnect a couple times and. Uh... Yeah, I noticed that. Yeah. yeah, I think we did quite well. Um, there was a few times where the comms got a bit hectic, but it's to be expected. It's uh, stressful and hectic. From the Skyward perspective, it really looked grim from you from the beginning, simply because the uh, the militia have a very palpable advantage in terms of a uh, terrain. Yeah, I mean, you pulled it off perfectly. I mean, that we slipped in through the defensive network they mm -hmm. had. Yeah. That was really impressive to watch. I mean, there was nigh impossible odds against you, and you pulled it off. Mm -hmm. That was very nice to see. All right. Well, we're going to let yep. you get back up and uh, so you can command. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Catch you later. All right. It'd be interesting. Yeah, that was that was fun. I like that was fun to watch. I like that. Did it, uh, I, I mean, Eyeball you, you got to wonder job. how how much of it was conscious, pre-planned, and how much of it was spur of the moment and improvisation. Everyone has a plan until they get punched in the face. Yeah. So we'll, we'll bring you in here uh, in a little bit. We're going to take a quick break. Your beautiful eyes. All right, welcome everybody to the second round of the op. I hope you guys had fun in the first round. Uh, Commanders tasked us of clearing out four enemy potential base locations. Uh, location one is in Hotel 13, location two, India 14, location three, Juliet 15, location four, Lima, four, uh, Lima 15. I marked all the keypads with a different mark. Uh, the plan of attack is we're going to divide the platoon into two elements. Element one is going to be Dorf and Sledvi. They're going to be proceeding north along the MSR uh, to Gulf 13. Once they get there, they're going to split up and they're going to clear out the helmet mark location and the rally point marked one. We're going to have Silas and Kerr's squad. The second element, they're going to go south down the yellow line through the tunnel system and they're going to come up behind Lima 15. Once we've cleared Lima 15, they're going to move on to Juliet 15. If at any point we've found the enemy location, their base location, we're just going to converge all of our forces there to wipe them out. Uh, so make sure you take a note of those four locations. If your command net dies, those are the objectives. We clear out all these object all four keypads, make sure there's no enemy fob or hab. After that, we're going to just hold until exfil. Does anyone have any questions? Pretty simple. All right, squad leads break them out, and we'll wait for live time. Boost squads. Squad was definitely a precursor. Well, there we go. Yep, and we're live with round two. And Goldberg, yeah, that's not... You don't need to be uh, posting things like that. That's... Uh, not needed.
Got a nice little split here from the U.S. side. We got Dorf leading a... It looks like half the platoon towards the north. And then who is this up here? Silas leading the other half of the platoon towards the south. I guess they're going to do a two and two split. All let's right. See where militia, let's see if militia is taking that hill. That's interesting because uh, as a discussion, that's something you know I... Often talk about in the ARs, splitting the platoon. It's a tendency I have a lot, just simply because it's it's a very easy to manage pincer. It, you know, it's two big right squads squaring with each other. They Knock. have, you know, a lot of firepower, and they're still independent enough to be mobile. Thing is, there, there's so many scenarios where that can go badly. It, you look really dumb when you lose two squads because they were isolated, and all your left is half platoon with. Right. Yep. Absolutely. And uh, looks like militia camp is set up on top of the cliffside. Thinking, what is this? Uh, Juliet 15. So it looks like militia split their forces also. North and south. Yes, Londorts all the way north. We have Frost that's going to occupy those... Uh... Definitely crucial ridge lines on top of the cliffs. Now, ball his always heading south. It would seem, perhaps I do not know. Yeah, I see Frost trying to get his people in position on at least one of these cliff faces to see them probably exiting that tunnel towards the southwest. Wait a second. I don't think is this. Yeah, this is where they're built. Yeah, they're gonna build their uh, their their camp up here on top of the hill. That's a good choice by Oddball. Yep, definitely a a nice spur in the terrain. Especially if you fortify to sandbags like this. Yeah, because it forces the U.S. to fight uphill, and as you're fighting uphill, it's gonna be a battle of attrition. You're gonna, you're gonna exactly. have to dwindle. You're gonna dwindle their numbers, make them a lesser force of pushing down the hill. Exactly. Press the Overwatch on the northwest is impressive. They can see everything, almost all the way to the coastline. As long as they can see uh, Dorf Squad moving through the trees, at least he's not doing it in the open. Yep. Big weakness of that thing, though, is that if the U.S. manages to secure the high it's south that whole fortification becomes useless it's even a death trap yeah if they can get in that little that little saddle um just south of their position and get around exactly. them it's gonna be bad news i mean they are going green route so typically if they're gonna go somewhere they're gonna be somewhere north so that's let's not neutralize this flag north. that's a good thing for militia Fine. we'll see how it goes it's gonna pop up on the map. Let's just go around it. I'm not worried about that. They, they already see us, I guarantee it. And there we go. We have Frost already in position, and he should be already by knocking the, the roads and the lanes of approach uh, to the forest and the hills. Silas just came out saying, oh yeah, they already know where we are. You don't Jeez. have to worry about Sorry. it. <laughs> I'm holding over Frost here. He has eyes over the tunnel entrance, over the entire highway network. Yeah, and Frost is south. Or not Frost, I'm sorry. Uh, Silas. They're south of the tunnel entrance. They're actually up in the hills uh, to the south of that tunnel entrance, moving through there. So if he's only focused on that tunnel entrance, he's probably going to miss everyone moving up Long to high ground. They're almost even with each other height wise. So that's one half of the platoon, and the other half is. Almost oh, that's, that's, yeah, almost big. on the. Uh, Four areas what? We need to clear. Almost at the coast? Your squad isn't lost. Yeah, almost.
I mean, have you seen where Don't Get Shot is? I'm, I'm supposed hey, he's replacing that Dash B, Dash B, Dash B, Dash B, Dash No. All the way south, holding the bridge of Mike 18. Oh, wow. Exactly wow. where that push is going to come. Okay. No, I didn't even know he was there. Let me fly to Mike yeah, 18. Up on that hill. Okay, I see him, yeah. Is that just one squad you see, Salas? So, incidentally, Oddball has yeah, a squad really exactly where that northern split is going to go. That's uh, Land Arts in a very good position. And then he has. Don't get shot in Mac 18. Okay. Yeah, they're gonna they're gonna be a reinforcement squad. I I don't see the U.S. going towards that tunnel entrance or exit. Yeah. So yeah, that's gonna be a long. That's gonna be a long walk. This Especially is... since they can't do it as the crow flies. That's a right. sheer cliff in front of them. Yeah. Uh, this is. Uh, you know, I'm gonna have to say this is definitely the map right, we're not to have. Over here. Not vehicles. Yeah. QRF here is, is made very difficult. I, I understand why Abo wants to have a, a bead on that uh, to next it. Because if it is used by US and mass, he basically has to shift his entire defensive system. So he wants to know if that happens. Yeah, well, um, the thing is, is militia doesn't know what the US are doing yet. They don't know which route they're going. It doesn't exactly. get broadcasted. And also, that's a good call from Jack following the coastline of this. I don't think Frost sees them. He does not. There's way too many yeah, trees. Yeah, they're, they're not looking at us. There's right way now, too so. many trees uh, in between them. Perfect. If you sneak behind them and hit Actually, them. I don't even I'm think the binocs were going to reach that far. Yeah, use the haze. So 95 degrees on top of them rocks. And, and then I don't think he has seen Silas either. The southern splits, simply because they're way more south no than you would expect them to be. Alright, squad 3, hold here. Defensive position, squad 4, slowly keep moving. I think, I think Dorf called out militia on top of the hill? Nah, no, there's no way. Or maybe he said he didn't see him. No, there's no way he saw anybody on top of this hill. They're on the back side of a berm. I saw one guy, and I think he ran back. Oh, maybe he did. He said he saw one guy. One player. Shouldn't say guy. I can also it's what it takes. It's one guy not keeping a low enough profile. Yeah. You, I mean, the thing about this game is, like, you see a bush, but someone like 900 meters away, doesn't. That, that bush doesn't render on their screen. I think exactly. people forget that this is a video game, not real life. Your system is different from than you know someone else's system, so they might be uh, playing well, on a lower set. Well, I mean, we keep all the settings the same so in a to tournament mode, but the render distance is only so far, no matter what system you have. So that's actually. A very liberal thing that Obo just did. So they, since we're on a vanilla layer, um, the cap, I the cap locations work, especially Heroicent, and they've so seen that Heroicent is uh, half capped. So they know a large element has pushed through it. Oh no! <laughs> however, however, Obo has said, let's turn a blind eye to that. So he's not going to respond until he actually sees contact. Yeah, you can't forget about that when we're on vanilla layers. That's that's very fair play from him. Not not meta gaming. He does have, I think it's silver, and I can't see who else is out here on the coast. But Danger Close is coming close to him. I think Silver is going to notice him first. I'm enough. Yep. So actually, it does. I mean, he has he has positioned his troops perfectly here. He has uh, people at every choke point. Realize you're wrong. Retract your statement right now. Nope. Oh, Danger Close saw him first. He's zeroed in. They're up at the cottage where we were last round, Jack. Up the and Dorf calls it over command net. That there's people over there in yeah, that the cottage. cottage. The the last round. How many of them? I don't know. We're still figuring that. Good eyes on danger close. Good eyes. <laughs> at least the fire team. I actually just read them. 
that was uh, when the students in today's SAT class, SAT basic. I hope he gave him the the 3Ds. Yeah, we're basically yes, definitely. I actually had to run him it. through it two times, and in the end, it was perfect. I don't see nothing. Way to go. Uh, I kind of just want to keep hugging my cousin. I forget the 3Ds all the time. So, I want you to try and push a buddy team across Again, the road. Again, it comes practice. Want to try and get your squad onto the rocks. There's, there's so much push. of this game that is so very unintuitive. And in the end, just becomes second nature because that you, you're used Dorothy, to doing it. Yeah, and you, you know, know that it's, it's at the core of, of being efficient. So this coastline push has been put to a halt a little bit just because they've noticed that there's people there as the militia pulls back from the cottage. Let's see what's going on on the south side. Wow, Silas has made good ground. He's on top of the hill in the saddle. Yep, and that was the worst case scenario for the defensive location. Completely that is bypassed oddball. Talk to me, Dorf. What's going on? See, this is We're why those splits are network. such a double edged sword, right? So, Silas okay. is beautifully placed right now. Thing is, he's faced with a tough dilemma One, because four, either he engages three, now and uses his advantage. Uh, or he waits for the rest of the platoon, and that can take upwards of 10 minutes right now. 10 minutes if he's lucky. Yeah. Because <laughs> that is an optimal, <laughs> that's an optimal position. I don't even know if he's aware that he's circling a, a militia position. No, uh, I mean, they've had a call out of one person on top of the hill towards their west, and that's it. Oh. Best case scenario, um, Dorf takes contact first, I stirs north, maybe troops start moving north, and he hits that uh, fortification. The only way I see this going bad is that there's a lot, in between Dorf and Silas, there's a lot of contacts that happen. Silas has got his forces facing towards the coast, and this don't get shot element, which is moving towards Silas now, Comes up behind him and just completely oh, yeah. sneaks up like on him. That's actually a fair chance of happening because there's no way they're expecting something from their south. So how is this? So they're securing one of the points on the green round, correct? The easternmost. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I think they're working on doing Contact now. Where? Yeah, on me. They're on uh, Hotel 13 or whatever. So they just threaded the needle behind. <laughs> they just threaded the needle through the militia lines and they're just gonna get that mark point there. and then come back. That's. I can't see. That's really hilarious to okay. witness, honestly. I'm gonna go ahead and start working my way down the coast then towards that way. Yeah, just clear. You need to clear Lima and Julia at 15. And Meep and Supervisor are up on top of a hill, raining down some fire on the dwarf's position. Nice little suppressing fire. A little heavy on the AR trigger. Go to clear out India, India 14. India 14, understood. So your land arts is reporting. One squad sized element to command. That's correct. I mean, it is just one squad element that's out there on that cottage, uh, college, cottage peninsula. Jeez, that's a tongue twister. Blah, blah, blah. Definitely. Cottage peninsula. peninsula See, you say it perfect. Well, we're start sweeping west soon, yeah, that's because, because I, that's not my native language, so it's, I have to concentrate. I guarantee you I'm a, a complete shit at the uh, tongue twisters in French. Uh, yeah, yeah actually, I haven't... Like, spoken French in probably, like, 15 years, because 
I told I told my mom to just stop doing it. I was tired of I was tired of trying to remember it all the time. I probably shouldn't have done that. I probably should still talk to her in French. <laughs> she, I mean, she she speaks Norwegian and French, and she's always like speaking to me in both of them. And I'm just like, stop! I've just been so ignorant about it. It's 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 honestly not an easy language. I think English is a lot harder than learning French. Yeah, leaving 15 is fucking clear. What? It's probably yeah, I mean, 15, but we'll I mean, that's, it's, I, I don't know. It, I think it's like a function of my brain. I think that Spanish, French, and Italian, the way that words and sentences are built, it works for my brain. English, it doesn't. I mean, okay, that, that's actually a perfectly fair point. It, I think yeah, it's a personal matter. Sent Door sentence structure out. in English um, does not work. It, it, my brain just doesn't. It doesn't. Um, uh, it just doesn't process it as well as like French, yeah, Spanish, and slow. Italian. I'm pretty much waiting for like, one and two to do their sweeps. What'd you say, Tyler? Ooh, look at the north signs. That's a big engagement brewing. Ah, lawn, with lawn darts pushing in and then so everyone up on top of the hill, but Dorf's pulling back. I have positive eyes on their fucking half at Juliet 15. Kerr's called Rock, in the Juliet hab at Juliet 15. Uh, hold squad 2, you're in charge over there. Maneuver with squad 1, destroy it. Copy 1, just get eyes on for now. Okay. We're in position. Is it in so, Oddball just unleashed the dogs of war and Dash B has been sent west. Which is where the enemy was, but five minutes ago. Alright, squad yeah. three, disengage and start pushing south along, pushing along the rock face and regrouping at Julia 15. Same thing with four. Four, push south to squad two, uh, to sled V, to squad three, and then push all the way over, okay? We're gonna ignore Hotel 13, ignore India 14. The objective is Julia 15, and then we hold it. The Jack and saying. Gondor perfectly calls the maneuver, saying the squad pulled off, moved west, and now is now rotating guys. exactly where he says they're rotating. Yeah, Jax just called it out. All other objectives are X nay. Juliet 15 is the only objective. And that's a good call. Sorry, F15? Uh, Juliet. Oh, Juliet, Juliet. Yeah. yeah. I mean, they're all, like, Hedda McGru and Floss McGruffs are in, getting that, close to it. They're... They got Holy hell, look, look around the camp. They have yeah. a most cool in circle, but this is okay. Yep, it's all blue. What oh, the they hell? Have bad fortifications up on the hill to the south. Uh, Don't get shots pulled. His platoon higher up on the hill. Enemies to your east, about 150 meters. Copy. They're about to rain hell on the objective and just secure it in. Okay. Good. Well, they might secure it, but they're all bunched up over here. Kerr's got to get his squad spread out a little bit better. Three, it looks like a looks like a turkey farm. I'm gonna start heading east thing now is, that it's the one instance where you might want to be packed yeah, yeah, a bit more. tighter. You're it's in forest like this, contact, simply because one guy can pick off uh, can pick off anyone so in the squad advised, in detail. If you're bunched up, you can at least return fire as a unit. It's so hard to work so as a unit in the woods because you cannot see what your neighbor is seeing. Yeah, that, yeah, that's a good point to bring up, especially when you're calling out directions of people. You can just use the uh, compass direction. Oh, oh, they've been called Hab. They know they're here. And yep. they're going to get wrecked because that static element is perfectly placed. We're uh, them up yeah, that Silas is just lighting them up. Hill. One, you might want to try to take those. Uh, and yeah, that's excellent radio, positioning yeah. by Silas. Static elements and mobile yeah, elements. Take the fortifications once that radius down. Squad three, I need you going in a straight line, straight to straight, straight to Juliet 15. Squad four, engage any contact down. We're about to get the radio. Oh, and Jack once is just pulling off that. Yeah, he's, he's told him to pull off and just go straight yeah. there. Beeline for it. See if he reaches uh, Silas with um, 
Sledvi has basically cut okay, militia an in half. Back east, then. They're just it out of here. He could easily lock down uh, Landarts with Dorf, oh, and then Sledvi uh, pulls off the. Uh, Dorf trying to engage him in the ass. Squad three, yeah, keep moving towards Sledvi. <sighs> and yep, Dorf is going about. To, he's about to walk up is the key on Landarts' western North elements. Incur? Literally walk on them. Kinda, there's guys on the south ridge, but we have... Wow, oh, that's a big really forest coming from the west. The radio is in the valley, they're up that on is, the hill. That is excellent maneuvering from the west again. Clear out. We're moving towards Juliet 15, Sled. We need to move towards... The militia's Juliet pulling 15, back, and they got maybe. US right on their tails. If exactly. not in... not If not, like, inside their own element. I mean, Tuba's <laughs> right on line with Bartok. Yeah, but that's the marvel of force for you. And that that um, that fortified camp push is textbook. That's really what Okrasu did push. I don't even think they took a casualty doing it for now. No, I don't think uh, US is at four kills and Militia's only at one. As Bartok gets tagged by push blind kids. Hell of a name. Oh, and Sal is just got engaged by Landorts. Landorts is managing to put some enough daylight between him and Dwarf uh, Squad. He's just booking it. And the stragglers, Bartok just took out Dorf. Hi, Dorf is dead. Oh uh, no! Uh, just as I pull really away, I just pulled away. And okay, Bartok tags him. him out. Landar is basically close so close. busy booging it back to base that he's just stumbled into Silas. And his stragglers are now 600 meters away from his own squad and engaging Dorf's squad. Yeah, Bartok's left on his own. He's just surrounded by US right now as the rest of his platoon is trying to get back Current onto the point to recapture it. This this is turning into a pit fight. We're dealing with a heavy contact to our south As everything just basically collapses in the objective, both militia and US. Yeah, Kurt, I mean, three, double time this really fun to watch. Let's go, let's go clear yep. uh, Silas just Silas went down. Dead. He traded with Meep. Roger, Still got Londarts and Silver trying to push up get between cover, Soldier Wolfie, Boss McGrath, and Hovis. A chicken, just keep engaging that contact. Bartok somehow is still alive. Is Probably just gonna lay down for a little bit and catch his breath. But militia still have the upper ground on top of this hill above the Bob objective. Now uh Dash B and Don't Get Shot have moved their forces even closer into the and on top of the ridge. Bartok is a wizard, he has no right to having this and taking out Dorf and putting out <laughs> Yeah, exactly. He is a wizard. Your proximity. Yeah, see spot. Yep. Move north and watch. Okay, so uh, Squad 2 managed to repel Rondarts at the cost of losing Silas, but they've actually just held on to that spur like a tick. And they still have excellent eyes uh, on the hab if they need to do a final push on it. Ashby's doing a pretty good job of getting his forces closer oh, in. Oh, did you see that? Oh, that latch shot? Three kills. Just, yeah. I don't know who shot that out, but good shot. I just caught it on the left side of the frame. Oh, and another one. Kerr's hurt bad. Yeah, Kerr is... Yeah, okay, so this is where you see basically the, the fact that he's sitting for the first time. That spacing was a bit inadequate. And again, it's it's something that comes with practice. We, we call it basically running through your cycle. And the cycle is checking for spacing, checking for 360, checking for spacing, so checking for 360. At all here. times, you're basically checking that you're A, you know, having everything Got covered it. around you, and B, what happens if a rocket lands in some formation right now? Do I lose one guy or do I lose four? Yep. Spacing is key. Oh, Bartok sends one across the hill. Tags one. I don't know if uh, Flossner Ross didn't get any hits from that. 
now I'm head busting them are probably like, wait, there's someone behind us? So again, pretty stalwart defense from militia this round, but they're facing some very good US maneuvering. Although it is swinging Command back into Minish's favor right now. After Kurz, uh, yeah, I'm, re I'm, I'm really liking seeing Jack and Oddball go head to head. Yeah, I mean, they almost have a pretty similar mindset in terms of tactics. It's it's really use that momentum, don't stop. If you stop, you can get flanked. You can't get flanked if you're not move if you if you know you keep moving. Yep. And down goes Bartok. I think Headbuster got him. I mean, it's the same deal when you sell with Oddo. If Anyone if you're basically his uh, quote-unquote neighbor in the line, he's could be he's going to consistently be ahead of you, you and command? berating you to follow him in. So I mean, it's it's always quite impressive. It works. I have it, it works 50% of the time, time, and then the other 50% he can get himself killed. In hey, you just never know what's going to happen. And here we got Matt Honcho, surrounded by Dactylus. Oh, he tags in. Instant, but he's still got Lagar up above him. He's the only one I think. Well, no, he's got some more coming in with Sasa and Sledvi. Just trying to hold on to this cop location. They're now the defenders. And they should be thankful for that because kills. Kills are still in their favor. Pushing up to you, or uh, stay where we are right now, because we have contacts down northwest. To your northwest. Fuck. Um, give me just a sec. Squad one, where's your last call? Sledvi's trying to get some command comms going. Find out where Squad One's last contact was located. But two. U.S. have the high the ground right uh, now. Contacts you have. We had contact from north or northwest, where four was. North and northwest, understood. Four, where were your last contacts? They do, and they have a six kill lead. Yeah, because there's only nine militia left. Salty Potato, where were your last contacts? We had contacts northwest, but we think we dealt with him. We can support squad two now if they have contacts to the northwest. Squad yep, that is correct. That would be Only a full squad left. And is that what's arrayed on the red line? Yes, south. here. About meters into I mean, that as far as positions position to push mistaken, the hab goes, that's probably... Oh, there we go. That is small as my Never curse people like this. this Chicken is... Uh, yeah, sorry, yeah, Kuba is leading an yeah. attack Copy. in that position. And Kuba's an AR. <laughs> So there's there's one of our our definites. Always make sure Kuba's got no an AR. Way, that's kill me. <laughs> Holy shit! That rolled right past. That's like I was born. I still yeah, don't I know. Like... I, I don't know how him and Silent control that AR so well. I think they had their sensitivities like super high or something. Yeah, it's a good thing. Dragged their mouth down enough to. Compass of Rico. Yeah, oh, and Kuba gets taken out by a nade. Oh no. What's the situation? I mean, I do really enjoy what we've been seeing tonight because both times US was very mobile and both times Militia was re responsive. So it's been interesting. Yeah, if you're if you're not gonna be mobile, if you're gonna be static, you gotta be very reactive. Shoot, move, and yeah. communicate. That's the game that you need to play. Fortunately, there's not much uh, Michigan can do here. They have a good position to try to suppress and push to the fortified location, the camp. But it's against, again, roaming hordes. Well, the U.S. is getting trickled down one by one. A militia for forces just holding their positions, letting U.S. make the mistakes of walking up onto them. 
Yep, US should be consolidating on the camp and not pushing that because that's playing directly into the hands. Patience, just wait. Let them move to you. Squad force moving in to engage possible contacts. Juliet, fifteen two. Eh, oh my God, spacing, for the love of God. Immunus and Wolfie just almost got down by a single burst. Oh. Ashby's the only one left in command, right? We got contacts. I first, think so. he's the only one in command that, yeah, yes. Back positions. Seven militia forces left. And it's 11 US. Oh, spacing. Grenade takes out Amona, Amones and uh, Soldier Wolfie. One grenade. Down to nine. Before we need your help, you need to move east. Slowly but surely, uh... Even in out the odds. The so what does it look like, uh, Command Net on the US side? They should be reining in those guys. Uh, I think it's now it's just your nightmare and that's it. That's good, that explains it because that is a bit of a sporadic assault and they're basically bleeding. They're bleeding boots, basically. Bleeding rifles. Oh, man, Salty Potato. So Salty Potato's on one side. He's got com he's got comms, and your nightmare's on the other side with comms. There's so many nades coming out using this vanilla layer. Yeah. So it looks like Salty Potato's moving people into a Four really good position on top yeah. of the hill to look down towards your nightmare kind of give him a second set of eyes of where people are moving around him this t-man starts taking some fire he's gonna have to bandage up So Hegetman manages to make it out. Yeah, with with some sporadic uh, misfires around him. Nightmare is going to push up with Hedda. Yeah, I mean, suppression is still running down. Militia have to move down slope, exposing themselves and then back up a slope. Doesn't bode well. Yeah, and down goes Hedda. Now it's just uh, Fluff's McGuff and Nightmare. Moving towards Scottish Chap and Silver. Just me and you now. One down. Okay, good momentum. Get Scottish. Yep. Got there it. they go. Still gotta get Dash B. Uh, don't get shot. T Man Lego. Oh, Dalton's hey, still, still up a bit too. Of a pricey push. We're gonna try and flank from their west. That's still a bit of a pricey push for the US. They could on. have achieved the same result by hanging back and being defensive. Your nightmare is actually doing a magnificent hook straight into the militia back. One yeah, down. Over here. Jesus Christ. Hooking again. Now, That's actually really good. Just firing in one spot, and since you're spotted, you move back to another. He's just trying to clear this hill and this opening before he pushes in to where he thinks everyone else is. Oh, takes down Lego. <laughs> He's in Another fire. Down. He's doing really well. How many kills does he have now? Yeah, Let's check. Five. 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 Good job, Nightmare. Yeah. They're really, really good at firing and displacing right now. 
He just can't get a bead on where he is, so he just keeps flanking them. Oh! Well. 240, 250? Except for that, that one. <laughs> Thank God for medics! But the good thing is, your nightmare is a medic. He can heal and patch himself up. That shot that came at you sounded like it came from northwest. Yeah, I'm gonna start nading this a bit. It was close. So your nightmare is still alive. He's a medic, so he's all patched up now. And he displaces again. Gonna come at him from a different angle. Oh, he's gonna walk up and don't get trapped and down this. Down this goes down. <laughs> Six kills. Seven kills oh, and eh, trade. Oh nope, it's just dash B now. Down to the last man from militia forces. Let's see how dash B goes out. He's just gonna hold his position. Probably the best thing for him to do right now. Nade out. And good out. Like or on one. They don't have to push him. What are they doing? Yeah, they just have to wait. Yeah, but apparently that absolutely not in the nature of oh, the And West then team. they get him. Oh, yep, yeah, that was a... Uh... That was a bloody... <laughs> That's definitely a GG for that. Uh, let's get Jack down here. Let's see, where is Jack? There we go, move to... Jack, you with us? Hello. Hey, man. Uh, good game, GG. Uh, your boys pulled it out. Uh, give us a quick little rundown of how everything went down in your eyes. So the overall plan was to split the platoon into two elements, uh, one to go north, one to go south, kind of. We didn't want to get the entire bulk of the platoon engaged in a combat. Uh, militia would have the advantage. The plan was to sweep through until we found the enemy hideout and then destroy it, which the team did really well. We came in, found their fob, squad one and two went in, destroyed it, and then the rest of our team just kind of came in and did an engagement with the falling back militia. Uh, it came down to the individual squad leads on my team. They did phenomenal getting their guys moving at all the right times. Awesome, man. Great to hear from you. Great to see you in command. Loved watching you and Oddball go head to head. Uh, hope to see more uh, operations with you in command. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to send you back up. Thank you, guys. Good work streaming. Yep, really fun watching you guys. So there you have it. Round one, round two in the books for Operation Red Rabbit. Uh, let's go over some...